Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan from SpareTireRunning.com coming at you. Um, trying to give you another update. It's been a couple weeks since my last updated video and I wanted to uh, tell you how it's going. Um, I'll start with the negatives. Um, right now, I'm fighting some soreness, stiffness, um, both in my lower calves, going down into my ankles a little bit that is tight. I've been foam rolling a lot on those. My uh, piriformis on my left side also is giving me a little bit of issue, um, just enough to be annoying. And depending on how long I have to sit at work, it gets uncomfortable. So again, I've been foam rolling. Um, one of those little, it's not a lacrosse ball, but it's like a lacrosse ball. It has a bunch of pointers. Um, and I'm really trying to dig it in there and be able to uh, get that worked out. Um, had a wonderful day today working out. This morning I ran about two and a half miles and took a, almost a mile walk back to my house. Um, nothing fast, just easy does it. And then this afternoon I got to go on the track and was able to uh, work out a little bit. Um, I did some sprinting, short distance, did a couple 200s, uh, followed by some walking and then I did kind of like a 70 yard dash uh, sprints to really focus on that kick home and then uh, followed by some more walking uh, and then uh, got a couple cool down uh, half mile cool down jog so I got again three and a half miles so not too bad um, about seven miles today um, on the on my feet and then I went and biked at the Planet Fitness for eight and a half miles. I uh, haven't been able to bike uh, recently. I need to figure out my bike that uh, Ryan gave me is horrible in one sense, but a blessing because it's the only thing I have. Uh, but I need to figure out something. I like I got on the other day. And my the seat was touched. I don't know if my boys were playing with it. Um, but the seat wasn't right, and then I tried to fix it on the go, and then it just didn't feel right. Something was off, uh, so I just kind of scratched it and said no thanks, and then uh, continued on. Um, but uh, since that 25 or 50K fail, that was 25, the week after that, which I was still recovering, I got about 9 miles in, I think a little under 10 miles. Um, Last week, I got about 30 miles in. This week already, I'm at about 22 miles in for the week. I have another easy three-mile-ish run tomorrow. And then Saturday, I'm going to do another 10-mile distance. Nice and easy. I'm going to take Sunday completely off and then continue to go. Then I, a couple of easy days and then 50K training, specifically 50K training, starts. Um, and I found a different plan than I was going to use at my last 50k. So I'm excited about trying it and seeing it. Um, it kind of fits, I think, a little bit better for what I want or try to do. Uh, but I'm very excited about this. This failure of the 50k really, really pushed um, my motivation and kickstart this uh, training again and I'm watching my calories uh, make sure that I am losing weight so that I can be the slimmest as I can be come October um, I have uh, I'm using a calorie counter but I have a goal weight of 200 pounds um, which would be excellent for me I haven't been that in years um, going back to college wrestling years that was the last time I was under 200, but right now it says, it predicts, um, I think sometime in November, uh, perfect timing for uh, Thanksgiving to add all that weight back on. But I digress. I'm working on losing about, eight, lost about eight pounds so far in the last two weeks, um, which is a good start. Some of it's water weight because I've been drinking tons of water as much as possible each day. I always feel like that has always been 
key to me to be able to lose the weight is when I drink a lot of water. I've been using uh, Nunn's uh, vitamin droplets in the morning. I've been using their uh, immunity uh, part in the afternoon. Um, I have some relax, rest and relax ones coming in so that I can use those at right before bed to recover, relax, and so forth. And then I have a bunch of goo that came in. I have um, I had a little pack that came in, and then uh, I have their, their, their went on a um, special pricing on 29 flavors, like all all the flavors they have um, for their celebration of their, I think their birthday or something. Uh, so I have that coming. Um, I always thought that they would be too thick, but so far I've been enjoying it. I've been testing out different foods um, in the breakfast and lunch and stuff that I had laying around from trial package and from runner box and stride box and stuff that I had. So I've been trying to some of that and some of it is actually pretty good. And then I had a, I had my favorites, these OC Oceans. Uh, you can't really probably see it because of the green screen, but... Uh, the Oceans Oceans uh, hydration seawater um, gels. So tomorrow running, that's pretty much wraps everything up. Um, Fourth of July is coming up, so hope if you're in America, have a happy Fourth of July. I'm hoping my uh, trip to Chicago will not deter my uh, training runs or my diet too bad. Um, I will probably be indulging a little bit in some extra beers uh, for the 4th. But with that, guys, take care. Uh, let me know how your training going. Um, write down a comment. If you like this video, like it. If you like to follow my adventure, subscribe. I hit that notification bell. You can follow me on Strava, um, Instagram. Instagram is spare tire running, like spare underscore tire underscore running. Twitter is uh, spare tire run. Um, and pretty much anything I post on Instagram, it also doubles on to Twitter. So if you are on Twitter, you'll be able to easily find me on Instagram. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Every step counts.